what am I to do with all this hair, you guys? Well, first things first, let's work in this coconut grease and get a quick massage in, okay? Hey, you guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to my channel. It's your girl, Touch by Tiny. Welcome, welcome. Okay, take a look around. Click on this video, click on that video. Hit the thumbs up, hit the bell button. And of course, you guys, don't forget to subscribe. Getting straight to it, you guys. We are doing um, feeding braids in the front with knotless. Matter of fact, jumbo knotless in the back, okay? So we will have two feeding braids going straight down, and then we will have jumbo knotless box braids in the back. Since we took out the front, as far as like how big we want the two braids to be in the front, I am going to section the back off. She have a lot of hair, as you guys can see. So I will have a total of 10 knotless box braids in the back. So I am going to section it off into four parts. But the amount of knotless box braids in the back is really up to you. I just think it looks better with the jumbo. And the first row, we're going to section it off in two parts. And I'm just starting it off with the natural hair first. You're going to braid under, braid under. And you have to make sure that the hair is super secure in your hands. And then we're going to add uh, the pieces of hair. And it is jumbo knotless. So the pieces of hair are a little bit bigger than you would add as if you're doing feed -in, regular feed-in braids. And then you're going to add another piece and you're gonna firmly hold the hair. You're going to braid, braid, and then you add a third piece. And for um, the total of the third piece, you're just going to continue to braid till you notice that the braid itself is going to get a little bit skinny. And then you will add a little bit more hair. And of course, you keep adding hair for as long as you want the actual braid to be. And again, you're going to hold the hair very tight and firm, but not too tight where, you know, you're actually pulling and hurting the client's head. And then you're going to braid under once and then braid under again to secure the actual braid itself. And then you're going to add, start adding in the pieces of braiding hair.
When doing feed-in braids, usually you have to start off with small pieces of hair and then you will gradually grow into bigger pieces. But when doing knotless, especially jumbo knotless box braids, you kind of have to make sure the pieces of hair are almost similar in size. And this is a better angle so you guys can get the view. So you will see me splitting the hair in three parts. And with that three parts, I am going to under braid the hair once and under braid it again to get a firm grip. And from there, I'm going to firmly pull and start to add in the actual braiding hair. Now you guys, listen, okay? I can understand when doing not list box braids, period, regardless if it's jumbo small, whatever the case may be, it can be a little bit frustrating because um, if you don't proportion the hair correctly, depending on the size that you want, the braids itself will look a little crazy and lump sided and bulky and all types of weird stuff can happen. So please just calm down. Okay. Relax. Take it out. All right, and then start over. So if you notice that the hair is looking a little bit more bulky in places than others, then that means you're adding a piece of hair bigger than the rest of the other hair. And if you notice that the hair is like just super skinny, clearly you need to just add more hair. So just calm down and just pay attention to your proportion size. And honestly, if you know how to underbraid, you are ahead of the game, okay? Because knotless box braids is underbraiding, period. That's it's literally, I call it the reverse braid. Because if you know how to do a regular box braid, you just have to train your brain to do it opposite, okay? So that's all that knotless box braids is. It's just a reverse braid. 
and um if you guys of course have any questions you guys know y'all welcome to hit up the comments down below okay i try my best and my hardest to answer every question you know all the love that you guys are giving me hit me down below i got you i promise One of the biggest questions I get is how do you part straight down the middle? Well, first things first, get you a good comb, you guys. And what I do is I split the hair in half. Then I go and add my gel straight down the um, parts that I just did. And I use a different comb with a better head. And I stand in front of the client. And you literally, if you have to, go from the nose all the way up to the head and that would get the perfect split the perfect parting Now for the feeding part of the show, you guys already know you start braiding the hair naturally first, and then we're going to add small, very small pieces of hair, and then the pieces of hair will gradually get bigger and bigger till you feel like your braids are the perfect size. For feed-in braids, you guys, if someone have a lot of hair, then naturally you wouldn't need to add as much hair to the feed-in braids. And of course, if the hair is a little bit on the thinner side or shorter, then you're welcome to add a little bit more pieces to the braiding as you go along. baby hair well of course yes I'm so extra you guys so right now I am creating an illusion of baby hair which is going into the braids and then once i'm done i'll go back and do her actual baby hairs if that makes sense <laughs> Again, we will start off with her natural hair. We will braid that first, and then we're going to add small pieces of hair as we go.
Y'all made it this far. I hope you already giving this video a thumbs up. I hope you subscribe and hit that bell button. And if you haven't, what are you waiting for? Hit that bell button, hit subscribe, and thumbs up this video. Look at the baby hair, you guys. Yes. So I'm just adding a little bit of mousse, a little bit of hairspray. Dipping in hot water. And of course, you got to tie it down, okay? And under the dryer, she goes. Are you guys ready? I know I am. I'm so excited. Ooh. Come through, Edges. Yes. Hey, turn up, girl. Turn up. Yes, I love it. She loves it. And I hope you guys do too. This is the two feet and braids with the knotless jumbo box braids in the back. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace and love.